And so how do you treat meningiomas? And the first place you got to talk about when you talk about patients, because one day you're going to be a neurosurgeon. And when you're treating patients, the first thing to know about meningiomas, if these are truly benign, slow growing tumors, and that's what they are, they're slow growing benign tumors. If they're grade one, they're benign tumors and they're slow growing, sometimes less is more. Can you watch them? And I would advocate that if you have an older patient and how you define older, that's gonna change as, as you go through your career. But if you have a small meningioma and there are no symptoms, and you know people are asking, well, it's small. I'm gonna ballpark that at one inch, 2.5 centimeters. If you have a small meningioma that's smaller than an inch that has no symptoms, then perhaps that's a tumor you wanna watch. Now, if the patient's young, you may want to intervene. And that really varies. And so this is the example. Here, you can see the meningioma. And when I look at an MRI, the first thing I'm going to do is, is this a CT scan or an MRI? And this is an MRI because I can see the brain structure well. Is this a T1 or T2? Well, the gray matter is gray. The white matter is white. This is a T1. The nasopharynges enhance. The sinus enhances. This is a T1 with contrast. And here you see the superior sagittal sinus. You see the structure down the middle, this is the folks, and you see this. I want to say booger, but you know I'm a neurosurgery faculty, about to become full professor. I don't think I'm supposed to use the word booger. This, see this little thingy, <laughs> this thing that does not belong. This is the meningioma. This is a falsine meningioma, and this tumor is small. This tumor does not require surgery. And if this patient is 40, 45, 50, whatever you want to define as old, I'd say just watch. If they're 20, 25, I'd say you just watch, but at some point they're probably going to need surgery because they're going to live such a long time, the tumor is going to grow. But this is a small tumor, and this is found incidentally. And the rate of incidental tumors, it's going to go up because we're scanning people. There's more and more MRIs. Back in the 80s, you could barely get an MRI. Today, I think at some point, there might be an MRI at every airport. Instead of like TSA pre-checking you, they're just going to zip, 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 and scan you, you know, because the prevalence and the incidence and the av availability of MRI is going up. And so every time someone gets into a car accident, bonks their head, falls down, you're going to find more and more of these incidental meningiomas. And my recommendation is that sometimes less is more. If the tumor is small, it's asymptomatic, and the patient's older, the first thing is you may want to watch. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.